Hi, dear. This is Real World Audio, and this is about the F moment when you are working with speaker cables. And here is my dilemma. So this is not the F moment. I will be using it as a helping tool to help you wire your power cables or check what's going on inside and understand. But this is the F moment. And I tell you what happened. So here you can see this was my uh, power cable. Well, actually I took off the end, put it all out there on the new cable. I was using this homemade power cable to drive my monoblock, the power amp. And I did a little modification for that. Uh, namely, the modification was actually inside the power amplifier. So what I was doing, doing, what I did is you see this power cable seemingly has two lines. So the, the wires are separated into two bunches. One bunch has right here, this is the ground and that's the neutral. And for the neutral, you see there's uh, two, uh, the focus is not getting it, but there's two additional silver wires running along with the neutral. And, and those are in one band bunch. Why? For the very simple reason that here in the United States, the, the safety ground and the neutral are at the same ground potential. And that's because when you have your uh, circuit breaker panel, let me see if I can do it, if I have a, a pen nearby. So the circuit breaker panel looks like this. On the side, there are two bars and those are the basically the ground bars. And in the center, there are two additional bars. And, and these two bars, they are fed from the line that comes to your house. And the difference between these two lines is 240 volts. And the incoming line is also a third wire and which is at ground potential. And here, that, that ground potential that comes in, that is connected to here, to those bars. So these bars on the side are connected together. And onto these bars, you connect the neutral lines that run to the connectors in your walls. So the neutral lines are, are connected here to these two sides. And not just the neutral lines are connected here, but the corresponding safety grounds are also connected here. So they are just connected to these bars. So at your panel, these two wires, the, 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 the ground and the neutral are electrically indistinguishable. They are at the exact same potential. And the potential difference between these guys which are at zero volts uh, via the ground, so they are the same potential as your ground potential, and, and there are these two bars inside, so between that and, and this bar, there's 120 volts difference, and between uh, the ground and the other bar, there's also 120 volts difference. So you, here you set that 120, and here 120 again. But between these two wires, there is 240. So anyway, so that's how it is wired in your panel. And now let's see when you look at your uh, power cords. Uh, this is how the power cords are wired. If we are looking at it upside down, then this big one here, that's the safety ground. And here the one that I marked with this thing. So if we are keeping it like this way, that the ground points down, then towards your right hand side, my, my right hand, it is, this is the neutral and that's the hot. And when you look, now let's try to use both hands, when you look at the other terminal, other end that you plug into your equipment is the same thing. If you hold it so that the ground is on the button, then here this will be your neutral and that will be your hot, right? And that's, that's the standard, that's how things are. And, and if you forget it, it's very easy. Just when you are assembling your cable, look at it. 
you see the one that is hot that has a black screw the one that is the neutron that has a silver screw and the one that is the safety ground has a green screw so this is how all the plugs are made in the US that's the code and that's how you wire them very easy just follow it and and if if you want to double check then you double check put this next to this and the pins just have to correspond to each other bottom bottom ground ground here neutral neutral hot hot okay so what i did with my amplifier is that in its uh, iec socket when the power comes in inside the amplifier let's just focus on there so inside the amplifier i connected uh, on the socket the the safety ground and the neutral together why because on the panel they are connected together so i am using the uh, safety ground as a booster shot so basically i was doubling up the current capacity on the neutral side so i was using the safety ground as well for the uh, neutral carrying capacity and that results in a quite serious boost in uh, in the base and in the fullness of the sound and now check this out uh, so i was taking offline this uh, power cord so that i switch it for a homemade silver power cord that's my nice shiny silver cord that i'm going to flip it to and uh, of course that that took a while to make this cable and i did not want to go without music until then because why simply because i have my amps my system running just about all the time when i am at home so if i'm coming home from work i turn it on until i go to sleep so you can imagine my two amps are running about let's say sometimes only maybe a few hours a day but other times maybe like 18 hours for the entire day and then I forget to switch it on and then it just goes on through the night so sometimes it's on for like uh, 70 80 hours at a stretch or more now uh, anyway but the music listening usually is between like couple hours a day to maybe 15 hours a day anyway so you can imagine that I did not want to go without uh, music so I have a call from work, so I have to pause this video now and continue later. We'll catch up.